Hello and welcome to Anchored. As part of our sermon series on generosity, we're exploring 1 Timothy 6, 17 through 19 today. We're focusing on how living in light of eternity actually leads to generosity. I asked Google this question, how many years are there in an eternity? And Google told me, it's forever, it never ends. It always is, always was, and always will be. Wait a minute, did Google just preach Jesus to me? Always is, always was, and always will be? So how is eternity tied to generosity? Generosity flows from our relationship with God and not the other way around. The Bible is consistent in its message that wealth is not bad. It can be a gift from God, but that gift, it is to be used for God's honor, not man's honor. C.S. Lewis beautifully captures the essence of this when he stated, aim at heaven and you will get earth thrown in, aim at earth and you will get neither. We trust in money like it holds all the power. It is easy to trust in something that looks like it can save us. We think, if I only had more, I'd have more happiness, more security, more peace. We cling to money thinking it will give us the things that we need in life, but those things are only temporal. Money cannot save us. It's also true that we cannot take it with us. We have opportunities all around us to support ministry and mission in ways that affect eternity. Generosity flows out from us to the church and the world, changing it in ways that only God can accomplish through His saving grace. It's our generosity that propels that mission forward. Paul had lived with wealth and was now riding in poverty from a prison cell. Paul wanted to make sure that young Timothy knew and taught about what the church should look like in action and belief when it comes to generosity. Listen to how Paul puts it in the message translation. Tell those rich and this world's wealth to quit being so full of themselves and so obsessed with money, which is here today and gone tomorrow. Tell them to go after God, who piles on all the riches we could ever manage, to do good, to be rich in helping others, to be extravagantly generous. If they do that, they'll build a treasury that will last, gaining life that is truly life. Many people think money will offer them a life worth living. But when our focus is on eternity, we find a life worth giving. Amen. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.